All right, all right, all right. Yes, indeed. Sagittarius. So why are you so mysterious, baby? It is me, bro. It is she, It is Vera. The Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. The party has just begun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed. And click this video. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, if there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading or um, show some love and support to the page, only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. And it gives the pricing list. It gives various ways to contact me. If you would like to book a personal or private reading, the best way to reach out to me is by Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. If these videos resonate and you want to send some support and love to the page, um, again, like it gives various different forms that you can show support. So go ahead and check both of those areas out and, you know, we want to make it do what it do. Sagittarius, you know that we always give love and thanks and just praise to Father God, the universe, you know, just whatever it is that uh, you want to call him, however it is that he resonates with you. So if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me and just, you know, Saying a quick prayer before we go into today's reading. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here abundantly. We thank you so much for covering us with so much love, with family, with friendship, with just so many opportunities and blessings that are beckoning upon our doorstep. Father God, we thank you so much for just... Um, being able to reach out and network with new people. We thank you so much for just the vast level of opportunities that have just, you know, come our way throughout this pandemic. We have lacked nothing, Father God, and we're just in search of continuous growth. So um, please give us the guidance that we need to receive on our journey for the sign of Sagittarius. We thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons and just everything that you've put upon our footsteps in the past, present, and future. In Jesus' name, please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius in April 2021. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's get into this. Okay, Saggies, we got uh, overall uh, general energy and career and finance over here. And then over here, we have love. We're going to take one card for each one of these decks over here and two for each one of the love decks. So let's get into this. Yes, indeed. We're going to start off with our archetype deck. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Give me guidance for Sagittarius for April One card for Sagittarius, please. All right, what's this? This is the box. Yeah, in the box, we got the box. Okay, square space. You guys need to, um, look into like square space and stuff like that to get your website and like generate it where you can own your own domain space for your own website so you can sell your materials and your products so look into square space you guys i don't know i just like square space just pop right into my damn mind so i feel like that you're in the center um you feel like you're in the center of like the four points of everything that's important to you right now. And it's like your center focus is on each angle, each direction, north, south, east, and west. And you are trying to like center yourself where you can be able to like send your energy to each area of the important things in your life. And at the same time, have everything like work in unison do you understand so it's hard sometimes trying to focus in various different areas instead of taking one thing at a time but right now it's like you it's like you're boxed in in regards to certain aspects of your life that um, I, it's like you feel like your back is up against the wall you feel boxed in and it's like you got to tackle each one of these areas at the same fucking time without exhausting yourself 
Um, I feel like you want out of this box, but it's like, if I'm going to be in this box, I'm going to make the situation work for me so I never end up in the situation again, if that makes any sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, having to live within the confines of these box, but while I'm in here, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get this and that done. And I'm at the center focus of it all, and I'm going to make every single thing work in my benefit. Am I making any sense? I'm getting like, it's like you have to work, you have to focus on working in this particular mode in order for something to get done. You have to work at this particular mode and you have to keep up the momentum and you have to like, keep your pace. If everything's going right, keep shit at that momentum. Like, just don't rock the boat. Don't do any spontaneous shit. Just... Let's just get through this and let's get this shit done and let's get the fuck out of this box. Like, guys, this is basically what I'm getting here. Get the guidance right here about Sagittarius in this box. And that is a lot. I just need one card. Thank you. I've never seen the Tyra Banks card. Okay, now. Let's see if it come back out. I have yet to get that card. Any guidance for Sagittarius, okay? You got the Mr. Ikea man. I think I like this card too. What's his name? Ingbarg Camprod. A good business model requires self-assembly. Your customer is your co-worker. Privacy loves company. So... The main thing that sticks out to me where it says, like, your customer is your co-worker. A good business model requires self-assembly. So, like, this is something that um, you make your consumers work with you. So, it's like you're teaching. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if someone's teaching you a craft. If someone, I feel like someone is kind of teaching you a craft right now. It's like self-assembly. I feel like you are being gifted with the time to focus on self-assembly right now. Yeah, it's like I'm literally getting that. It's like, okay, so the delivery man just came and delivered this box on your doorstep and you're just like well what the fuck am i supposed to do this shit with this shit put it together you were at the center you're in the center energy of everything that had to do with this box like you ordered it you wanted it but at the same time it came to you being delivered in the box in a thousand pieces after you gonna put this shit together yourself or you just gonna be sitting there looking at a box that you just sat there and paid a couple hundred dollars for like what you gonna do you know what I'm saying? Like, they're giving you the equipment, but you have to learn. You have to put the energy to do it yourself. They're working in partner with you. Like, I feel, because a lot of times, it's like, I wouldn't have bought the shit from you if I knew I had to put it together myself. But are you not acquiring a skill? So, whatever's going on right now, Sagittarius, I feel like it's to sharpen your skill set. And you might be feeling like, why am I having to go through this? Like, why am I having to do this shit by myself? Or what? Because you have to do it by yourself. It was intended on you to do it by yourself. It was made for you to do it by yourself. So, I feel like you guys are boxed into a situation where you're forced to put in the self-work. It's self-assembly. Okay. 
feel like with this here, like the Privacy Loves Company, I feel like there's somebody that will give you encouragement, that will watch you sit there and do it, but they're not going to help you. Because they're not supposed to help you. But they will stand by your side and encourage you along the way. I definitely know that. Give me one card for Sagittarius for April. Focusing on the box. And this. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a lot. I did see the strength card. So, what is this? You got the two of this. So, I definitely see, like, you are regaining your focus. You are regaining your balance. I definitely see with this two of this that um, what you're teaching yourself, you're teaching another so as you're going through this process of putting your this self-assembly self-assembly is required and again self-assembly is required i think that's what i'm gonna name this video self-assembly is required like as you are assembling this thing by yourself like you could be this could be your daughter this could be a friend this could be someone else that is literally um like teetering on the same ropes with you it's like they could be going through this thing with you they could be going through the same thing so it's like each one teach one so it's like okay i survived this situation even though i might be walking a tight thin rope but i learned how to regain my balance where i could walk across this rope i could do cartwheels across this rope i could do tricks across this rope I literally can work at the circus. I know how to walk. This rope don't scare me no more. I could walk this fine line. I could walk this thin rope. I could teach you how to do tricks. I could teach you the tricks of my trade. So, it's someone I feel like that isn't scared anymore. That is taking this energy and is recycling it and is passing it along to somebody else you don't have to be scared neither so i don't know if this is a friend if this is a focus group if this is a family member um whoever it is it's like instead of you focusing on being boxed in and looking at the situation in a negative way it's really put here to teach you some shit you're at the center focal point of this whole situation. You have to put it together yourself. And you can't focus on the lack of direction because can't nobody give you the direction. You have to do it yourself. And if I had to do it, you could do it too. But my story ain't your story. My walk isn't your walk. You're going to have your own walk that is uniquely to you. But we can walk these footsteps together. My journey in my way, your journey in your way. You see how close each one of them got their own rope. They're not sharing the same rope. Hmm. This is a card of like education and dedication. Being dedicated. Hmm. And it's a card of working together. It's like learning how to encourage someone to work together, to pull someone up. Like, you know, I, it's like I honestly feel like someone coming up out of the struggle. Um, it's like two different people that are getting like a second chance at the same time. And it's like, even though we're walking this fine line, this tight rope, it's like, I met this person that's going through the same shit. And it's like, we're teaching each other to do this shit together. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a reciprocal energy of, of just learning, of education, of, of, of again, of freeness. Give me, okay. You got the love and light here. All right, so this is the love and light card. So... I definitely feel like you need to be more open to experiencing things on a more high vibrational level. Um, don't look at things at like in a 
Don't take things with a pessimistic value. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, if, if I've even said that right, but that's the way I heard it in my mind. Don't take shit with such a pessimistic value. Please put more of, a, like, a wisdom-based type of energy along or something. Like, don't... I don't know. It it, 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 it brings decrease. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to make sure that you're putting love and light. And understand that when people are dealing with you, they're dealing with you in love and light. They're dealing with you in love and light. And it's each one, teach one. And that's the most important frequency here. Your purpose is to bring divine healing and light and love into this world. You know what I'm saying? So, as you evolve, you should help people evolve too. And focus on the people that are around you as you see them getting their life into balance. Like... Focus on their frequency and the gifts and the inspiration and just the things that you can learn and the things that they're giving to you as well. And throw something back at them. Like, that's what I'm getting. So, it's just like... I want to say it's like... It's like you don't have to do something alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you legitimately do not have to put this damn box together, uh, the, the, the stuff that's in this box alone. What is that? Privacy loves company. You can handle this thing privately on your own, but at the same time, someone that's going through the same fucking thing as you, they're not going to help you, but they can still sit there and encourage you along the way. You don't have to do it by yourself. You know what I'm saying? But you can't look at it like, well, what the fuck can I learn from this person? Or blah, 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 blah. Like, don't be pessimistic. Love and light. You feel what I'm saying? Love and light. Because you can learn shit from everybody. You can learn shit from other people. And y'all can learn and do it together. It's something about togetherness. And it's like you won't, you wouldn't be in the box. You, or you won't be in the box alone. If you learn how to, like... Have balanced relationships, partnerships, friendships. All right, give me one card, Sagittarius. What is this? You got the victory card. Alright, so the victory card came out. Um, I really don't want to take this shit in reverse, but I, I'm going to take it in this way. So listen, the victory card, of course, that brings forth success. That's basically telling you that you will have a flawless victory, that you will triumph over everything. But it won't be without change. It won't be without sacrifice. Uh, the five of clubs is when you... Um, it's like a transfer of energy, you know, um, going from one place of, of, of work and security into another place of work and security and successfully knowing that I've received the reward, I've got the value, I've uh, received the energy that I was supposed to get out of whatever that situation is. Now it's time for me to take what I've learned from that and pass along the blessing and continue my growth somewhere else do you understand what i'm saying so it's like you could have successfully completed a a, a phase you could have successfully like um got a promotion or something like that in regards to business or career and it's just like um it's time to i want to say like elevate and go on to the next phase you know what i'm saying like you you you've received and you are acknowledging the victory in the situation however this being in reverse i have to acknowledge that as well it's like something where you could receive the victory. You could get the honor if you recognize. It's like if you just. It's something about. This to a this here. The love and light. And you realizing that. It's something about you learning how to how, how to work with other people. What you get, what you put out, you get back. Because when I think of someone being boxed in, being caged in, doing something like that, I'm thinking of someone that's by themselves. 
and again where it says privacy loves company it's I feel like there's someone that doesn't want to be alone. They they need someone to balance their energy, to balance their ideas, to learn off of, to help, you know what I'm saying, generate some type of frequency here. But there can only be victory if you see it, if you understand it, if you understand what God is trying to do in your life. If I'm making any type of sense here. It's like you can't blame other. It's like I don't know why I feel like. Again it's like someone having to see love and light within the situation. You can't blame other people for you being boxed in. You're being boxed in. Whatever the situation is. It's intent for you to learn something. This is self assembly required. It's self assembly required in this situation. You can't look to other people. We can sit there, we can encourage you, but we cannot help you. Like, we legitimately cannot touch this. We cannot help you. You have to learn how to transfer from one stage of your life into the next one without us having to put this hands on. Like, on period. And if, like, if you can't acknowledge that and get that and see the success in you having to do it by yourself, there won't be no victory. This says the <clears throat> five of cards is a card of action, a change in a work situation or a change in a social standing. Uh, you hear me? It symbolizes the five fingers of the hand. It can represent working with one's hands or making something. It can also denote exercise, physical labor, providing eff extra effort the need to, uh, or the need to get the job done. It means action, physical activity, the need for physical exercise, competition, a sporting event, a job interview. Good luck. You see what I'm saying? And remember, I was saying something in the beginning about Squarespace. So, again, love and light. It's like learn from each other. Help each other out. Understand when people are trying to help you. It's just like I was saying about Squarespace. Like, People can give you the information, but you have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are not going to do it for you. And if you really want to see the success and the change in this, you have to get, you have to put the effort to get yourself out of the box. Do you understand what I'm saying? Only thing we can do is exchange information with you and hope that you learn and you take it with love and light. Do you understand what I'm saying? But again, self assembly required. Self assembly will require. We cannot help you. We can only give you. We can only exchange information and hope that you know what I'm saying. That you put forth the action and the effort and the work to see this through to fruition. Do you understand what I'm saying? But we can't help you in this transition. This transition is to help you grow. Is to help change. Is to help to get you out of this box. And it's to help you to learn how to multitask. Like you can balance this. You can you could juggle this on your own. You got it. Believe in yourself and love the light. And don't get mad at again. Don't get mad at people because people are not taking his hands on approach with you anymore. You gotta you gotta learn with love and light. Okay, give me guidance and love. The Sagittarius two cards, please. You got true love, and then you got religious factors. Mm -hmm. I don't like seeing religious factors in the reverse. You got true love, and then you got the religious factors. So I don't know if it's like, are you in search for like a true like connection, but with not no like commitment? I don't know. This is like, um, this is ever saying one or two things to me. This is saying like you really found someone that you're very, very connected with and that you feel like could be your true love. But it's like 
you feel like the pressure of relationships and marriage and feeling the need to have something in writing and say that I love you, you love me and all this. It's something about that, that you don't want to live your life with the standard marriage. Y'all know that y'all love each other. Y'all not doing it for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I get here, it's like people, y'all feel like, when people get married, it's it's because y'all putting on for everybody else. It's it's not for it's me and you are together for me and you not for them. You know what I'm saying? So like we're not getting married and all of that hoopla, blah blah blah. Cause it's like I feel like someone feels like getting in marriages or relationships jinxes the happiness or I don't know why I'm feeling like someone just does not want a traditional commitment and all of that bullshit. It's like. They feel it's a jinx. They feel it's a setup. Like as soon as you sign that paperwork and say I love you or y'all devoted to each other and y'all try to do it like it goes to shit. Like if everything is cool right now and there's no strings attached and whatever and shit just good. Let's just leave it right here where it's at. Like I don't want the traditional relationship. You could talk to who you want to talk to. I can talk to who I want to talk to. Like we're, as long as we make each other happy when we're with each other, we good. Like. That's what I'm getting. But at the same time. <laughs> mm. I had another story that was in my head before. And it just like literally left me. Because maybe that's just it. Maybe that's just it. Maybe that's just it. It's something. I, it's like I feel like y'all feel that. Uh, like. Relationship contracts are. Things. Or it could be a situation where. It's, you really like someone but. This person, whoever y'all with, just doesn't have the same belief systems that you do. Um, you could want commitment in marriage, and this person doesn't. And that could be a conflict. Like, y'all just don't have the same type of religious backgrounds. Or just, like, don't even necessarily have to do with religion. It's just, like, your upbringing. Y'all you know, faith and all of that stuff. Like, this person just doesn't believe in traditional things, wants a non-traditional relationship. And you don't. You could feel like this person is your true love. You got the lovers in the reverse. So, it's like, yeah, like, this is, okay. The love is, the love is in the reverse. Let's just keep it 100. Like, this isn't something that's meant to be. This is something that is more of like a drive-by fruiting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but wow. I got issues, y'all. Me and my cousin. We always, it's a drive-by fruiting. You know, on um, <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. When he throw that orange at that man head. Oh, my God. I don't know. Sorry. That's an inside joke between me and my cousin. Oh my god. This is too much. Okay, you got the lovers. You got the king of torches. You got the five of swords. And then you got the seven of pentacles. So, okay. This is a situation right here. I wouldn't say it's star-crossed lovers because I don't even feel anything like that at all. Um... I feel like you two people like each other. You do definitely feel a true love connection here. But it's like either until someone gets divorced. Until someone like acknowledges their love for me or something. Like this is not going to work. Like you don't believe in what I believe in. And or you still have a connection with somebody else. And I it's, it, it's like I can't get involved. No matter how much I 
really like you like i fuck with you down hard but like sweetheart you you're still married or you want me to accept you being with other people when you know that i love you like you know that i love you you know that I don't want you dealing with anybody else. So, like, it's like, cut the bullshit, bruh. Like, cut the bullshit. Like, if this thing isn't meant to be, then just say that it's not meant to be. Because I feel like there's someone here. It's like, you know where I stand on. And it seems like the King of Pentacles here. Like, the King. I mean, not the King of Pentacles. The King of Torches here. Um, or this could be the Sagittarius man, like whoever this is right here. It's like, I feel like this person is very confident. They know where they stand. You know what I'm saying? It's either they're the one that doesn't feel that this is a true commitment, that doesn't feel the love there, that, um, knows that the other person it's never going to be, it's like it's never going to amount to a relationship because of this person's other commitments or this person's lack of belief in formal relationships. <coughs> so, again, you got the five of swords up here. And if you look at this card, you see how someone is down there with the three of swords or someone that is up there, like, holding their decision back. So, it's just like... You clearly got more going on. Like, I don't feel like it's your intention to hurt me, but you're bound to hurt me with this Three of Swords. That third sword right there, that shit's going to hit me in my head and in my heart if I come down there fucking with you. And for right now, I'm just, it's like, this is a lose-lose situation. Bottom line, the lovers in the reverse... The religious factors in the reverse, like, <coughs> <coughs> the five of swords is the type of person that's manipulative. Like, they're power hungry. It's like at the time, at the time when they want to contribute to their life and they want to speak to you or they want something out of you, they're there. But if it's not beneficial to them, they don't want nothing to do to, with you. And I see that now because with this Three of Swords, it's something else that's taking your time. It's taking your attention away from me. It's something else that you're thinking about where it's causing a fucking issue. And no matter how I feel about you, like... You got other shit going on that at the end of the day, like I said, is more intended to hurt me. This is a lose-lose situation. I might as well separate myself and sit my ass up here and leave my thoughts and my opinions to myself. Because you're sitting up here bullshitting me off the real. Like, you, 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 you're telling me what I want to hear. You're telling me what I want to hear. Like, this someone saying, you know I love you, you know how much I love you, but... You're not willing to commit to me. I'm one of the ones, but I'm not the one. And I know where I stand with you. So I'm going to separate myself and I'm going to go somewhere else because you're not going to fucking play with me. You're definitely not going to play with me, bitch. I wait. I wait. I wait. Mm mm. <clears throat> it's like with this five of swords right here it's like this is someone that took it took it it's like they took their option back it's like they removed their self as an option like you're the epitome of a bullshitter to me you know what i'm saying like you really was just going to sit there and lie to me. And you were, it's like you were just going to continue to lie to me. So it's like with the two of swords right there. It's like someone removed the choice. The opportunity. I don't know if you blocked them. If you separated yourself from them indefinitely. And it's like I'm waiting. I'm focusing on my stability. And what the fuck I know I could put my energy into that can grow. How about that? How the fuck about that? I really just don't have time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then someone just said, like, this is this this was not my doing. So like <coughs> it's like, I'm sorry, I don't know why my throat is itching. I have not been coughing all day. 
It's like making my throat itch. Mm. It's like I don't even. It's like. I don't even want to say too much. Because again like you see how this person is all the way up there with the swords. It's like. You make my throat itch. You make me not even want to talk to you. It's like I don't know like. It's like allergic or uh, allergy or something like that. I don't know. It's just like. You want a whole nother galaxy. Talk to some old bullshit repeating some old rhetoric you heard from some dumb shit and you think I'm gonna sit there and believe that shit get the fuck out of here like I don't know what some and then you got the separation card and then you got the kisses listen long kiss good night and then this coffee cup here so listen <coughs> you got the separation so I already I basically already told y'all that um this is an unrequited love. This is something that I feel like someone was playing games and manipulating. Because you know like how people, they only deal with you when the fuck they want to deal with you. When they have time. When they want to be pleased. When they're bored. Like have y'all ever had someone call you and be like, oh yeah, uh, I was bored. Like bitch, don't call me when the fuck you're bored. Like what the fuck does that mean? You think of me when you're bored? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Listen. Sometimes you have to remove yourself and not give people time, space, and opportunities to keep playing with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, love yourself enough to remove yourself and open up new doors. Listen, with this kisses and this coffee cup here, this is you basically giving that person a long kiss goodnight. It was nice to meet you. Uh, I hope you're okay. Wish you the best. And going out there and exploring other opportunities. And like taking your life in your own hands. And not letting nobody sit up there, shuck a job, and bullshit you in your fucking face. Please don't do that shit. Separation means... Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Listen, I'm pretty sure whoever this does, whoever this is that is bullshitting. I, 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 this seems like the masculine energy that is taking their wand back. And it's not talking to someone and rather wait for the right person and if you look right here, if you see how the seven of pentacles is in the question mark, it's like. I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning what the future... I don't know what the hell is going to come into the future. It's like I'm waiting, I'm guessing, I'm hoping, I'm relying on faith. I'm relying on the energy that I know I put out to bring me a full fucking harvest. Everything that I learned was beneficial and I'm putting everything that I learned into the atmosphere to get me everything that I deserve. Do you get me? Hmm. Kishes, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Can we say it? Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving. Not someone that you love, but they don't want the connection. They don't want the commitment. That No, 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 no. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moments, feeling uplifted friendships, new people. Okay, new people. This is my bump into somebody at the grocery store at the Starbucks car. Listen, <coughs> I rather wait. I rather wait for the right thing. <coughs> and I'm so sorry that I keep coughing. Something really got my throat, y'all. Okay. So what we got here? We got the three of cups. <clears throat> we got the three of cups and then we got the knight of chalices in reverse. Oh, okay. I don't know if y'all have like a new arrival coming into your family. I don't know if you guys are about to get information like a family member is expecting a baby or something but I definitely feel like a new birth coming into the light into the light it's going to be something to celebrate about I don't know if it's like three siblings or something if y'all have three siblings in your family like one of y'all probably the, the youngest one is expecting 
I definitely feel like you guys going to be very cheerful about that. So, you know, um, <clears throat> I feel like with this uh, Knight of Chalices in the reverse, the Knight of Chalices in the reverse is someone that I want to say is um, needs to focus more on understanding what love is. The Knight of Chalices in the reverse, they'll fall in love with anybody that blinks an eye at them. It's like they yearn and they want and they desire love so bad that I don't think that they really sit down and analyze what love is or the energy that's coming to them. It's like they're almost accepting of anything just to say that they have anything. You know what I'm saying? So if I put these two cards together aside from, you know, me feeling like that there's going to be like an announcement of a birth or something coming into someone's family. I, I definitely feel like it's a sibling um, or that the announcement would be coming from a sibling. Um, what this is basically telling me when you got, I feel like the lesson here, don't just be open to anything that's open to you. Everything that I don't like everything that likes me. Could you imagine the body count that I would have or that any of us would have if we literally dated and gave every single person that liked us an opportunity to fuck with us intimately on an intimate level? That would be ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And then also, you can't be that wanting and desire love so bad that you're just open to anything. You know what I'm saying? Go out and celebrate and enjoy yourself and have everything that life has to offer you. Go ahead and experience it, but do it with discernment. Do it with discernment. Make sure that the people that you connect with are on your same wavelength, that's on the same wavelength as you, that they're expecting the same thing that you're expecting, and that they're going to be excited about it, and they're going to be jovial, and that we can celebrate, and we can continue to do what we want to do and, and, and let the marathon continue. You don't want to, because with these two cards right here, this is like the whole family is excited about um, this celebration and this party and the baby father don't want to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this is someone that doesn't get along with the family. This is someone that doesn't want to hang along with the bunch. This is someone that doesn't know how to accept love. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, at the same time, it's like, and again, like, and I do want to go ahead and bring that back up again. Please understand that, especially when you see everybody experiencing new abundance in their life, new birth, happiness, celebration, joy, just prominence, all of that stuff. And if you're the only odd one on the outside, on the outskirts, you're the only odd one out of the bunch because now I'm getting that unrequited factor up there it's just like I feel like everyone is living this life and there's someone on the outskirts because I feel like they want to do things the untraditional way it's like I don't know if this person isn't accepted there they aren't invited it's like it's like they don't know how to have a good time or don't want to have a good time or again it's talking about some type of pessimistic uh Mm, mm. Not in this a place to receive love. It's like this is this is like someone that isn't fulfilled within themselves, so they don't want to be around people that's happy, that's happier than them, type of thing like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that because if you continue to exude that energy again, people will separate themselves from you. Like this ain't a good fit for me. I don't want to be around people that don't want to be around people. You know what I'm saying? Or don't want love. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's too much. It's too much. That's too much for me. That is too much for me. Like, I know how talented I am. I know how attractive I am. I know how, I know what I give. I know what I give. You're not going to make me feel unworthy. How about I remove your decision? 
How about I take my sweet caramel kisses and I carry my ass on my merry way and I can wait for a better, for something better. Because I, I don't got time. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And then whoever that person is, again, that don't want to have a traditional life, I, I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know what this is. But it's like they're sitting, they're on the outside looking in at everybody else, enjoying their life, celebrating, having all of this that it's meant to have. And because you made the decision that you didn't want to have it, it that, that's the life that you set up for you. Because you don't want to love and you don't want, look, don't complain when everyone is celebrating and having such an amazing fucking life. And you the only idiot on the fucking outskirts looking out there, looking stupid and feeling uninvited. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, get, this is giving me misfit energy, but it's like... You, cho you chose this. You did. <laughs> like, I don't know. So I'm just going to leave it there. Because, again, it's like. Remember I was saying something about someone taking something with love and light? No one is in competition with you. It's like taking something with love and light. Giving and receiving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Giving the energy and throwing it back healthy exchanges look unconditionally loving giving and receiving infection falling in love so listen i'm gonna let it go right there sagittarius i love you thank you for loving yourself i'll see y'all next month peace